real numbers. As you know about the real numbers, that real numbers are the numbers from minus infinity to zero, then zero to plus infinity. All the numbers come into the range of real numbers. So we know about the real numbers, natural numbers, and whole numbers. Now we will go for some algebraic and for some other operations on the real numbers. That one is Euclid's division lemma. What is the Euclid's division lemma? Euclid was a Greek mathematician who gave Euclid's division lemma and for As per the name implies, this lemma is for division algorithms. What this division algorithm says, as we know very well, that A is equals to B Q plus R. This is Euclid's division lemma. What is A, B, Q, and R? This is remainder. Now you got the other things. Q is the quotient B is divisor and A is dividend so we are keen studying these things from our previous classes but now we have this what it is, the name of this thing is Euclid's division lemma. It says that A is equals to BQ plus R. Now, what's the use of these things? What's the use of Euclid's division lemma? We have done the use of Euclid's division lemma of, of these formulas in remainder theorems, in other factorizations, and in divisions also. So, what about the logics of arithmetic. In the first example, we see that show any positive integer is of the form of 3q, 3q plus 1 and 3q plus 2 for some integer q. What the question is, show that any positive integer Any positive integer can be written as 3q, 3q plus 1 and 3q plus 2 is in the form of this. So how we do that? For q, for all, q is a integer. For that, we will use Euclid's division lemma. How we will use? As we know, this lemma says A is equals to BQ plus R. A is equals to BQ plus R. If let B is equals to 3. Why B is equals to 3? This is a random number. We can choose B is equals to 1, 2, 3. But why 3? Because we have to prove in 3. Here with the Q is 3. And here we need to put this B as 3. So that 3 will be with Q.